<laughs> we only thought it was going to be a nice day for street scrapping. Come on, let's dive in and find out what happened. Hey everybody, good morning. It's going to be a beautiful day, but watch out for those afternoon showers. Now, sharks have been spotted, so be careful. Well, we're starting the day off with a ceiling fan. Good morning, scrappers, shark watchers, and others who just happen to find their way here. Wheel. Nice little metal bed frame. Well, it's not little. It's not huge. I think it's going to fit right into the truck nicely. It's just long enough that it won't sit down. Oh man, really? Isn't that terrible? I don't know what we're going to do about that. That's just going to be a problem all morning. Pepsi. So these are the side rails for a garage door. These are the track that the this is the track on either side of the garage that the door runs on. Wonder where the rest of it is. <laughs> See this is where this thing is gonna be a pain in the patutus. Because now lift you up, and of course, you're caught on these guys now. So, lift you up. Eventually, I would like to go vertical, prop that up straight up if I get a big appliance. <clears throat> Come on. Dead mattress frame thing was just a problem. It's gonna keep being a problem. 
Oh well. Such is life in the world of scrapping. And speaking of finding a large appliance, look what we found just a little bit further down the street. Give me any grief. there before we get too far along here. If I want to, I can get at that motor. If I leave it like that. But I need it to hold up that thing. I can just climb up there. Should be happy now. Um, I'm even going to leave that lid up and put the rope around that way. That way, Yeah. 
the cord on you. Sorry for all this back and forth there, folks. I'll leave the cord on here because that way it's easier for me to pick it up. Hear you. Those are laundry safety pins, you know, for closing mesh laundry bags, and they come in very handy. In this case, as a way to hold some line. tied in and this is this is called a taut line hitch here so it's a couple of wraps back this way on the line and then it comes across with a locking wrap here and the beauty, beauty of this knot is that you can just pull it up cinch it tight and it holds now this line is not that expensive and it's wet so it's a little bit um, stretchy um, but you can see how the knot sort of bends this way now it's grabbing hold of the line and it's just going to hold that line in place it's it's pretty good um you know usually in camping you would use this to uh, keep your the lines for your tent taut uh, but anytime that you want to keep a running line taut the taut line hitch comes in useful i thought i saw something that looked metal what are you I don't know what you are. Maybe, man, you're heavy. I mean, really, how many times am I going to lift these stupid gloves? See, I'm worried if I put it on the side that it's going to be too tall. Well, let's see. It might...
Wheel. If I tie that up, it should be okay. All right, once again, you all don't need to watch me tie something up. We'll be back in a minute. Okay, I think that's going to hold everything. Uh, so, taut line hitch here holding in the washing machine. Uh, this is a bowline on this side with a taut line on the other side. And uh, because again, the lines are wet and a little stretchy, so next time I take some put some scrap in or out I'll go ahead and give everybody a tighten up for sure all right let's get back on with it huh. car rack luggage racks and that looks like that was a fan down pipe if you don't have to. I'll take you too. Why not? That's plastic. Huh. Well, fake out. Wait a minute. You're aluminum. Hmm. All right. I'm gonna put you aside. Because you're aluminum. Are you? You're just some big old pipe, rusty pipe, very rusty pipe. Oh my! But that's all right. We'll take a big old rusty pipe. still good and tight you're getting a little loose let's tighten you up a little bit more there we go all right it's gonna be another rearranging situation going on here do need to get those larger cable cutters that Ian Matthews has been encouraging me to to get I also need to get moving because it's bright blue that way but it's stormy over that way so we need to get on with this with today's scrap I've taken this microwave in and out of this truck more times than the law allows. I don't mind telling.
Now, I'm going to go in this way and hopefully be able to just tip it end on end inside. I think they were using the shoestring to uh, keep everything in place. <laughs> All right, the microwave. Let's get you back in. It's a good thing you're not very heavy. In fact, I'm thinking it's not much reason to even scrap you. <clears throat> You weigh next to nothing. And I got more thunder going. So I need to get a move along. have been some aluminum up here so let's go check it out it looks like gutter hopefully it's not plastic It's a John Deere water sprinkler for the lawn. Huh, that's funny. I've seen those uh, at uh, a store that's called Tractor Supply, but I've never uh, seen one on the street. Ooh. How you doing today? I'm doing awesome. I especially love it when there's aluminum out for me. Oh, and I'll make sure it gets recycled. Thank you. Good enough. Let's get it fold though. Man, I'm glad that was aluminum and not plastic. There we go. Stormy's coming. How are you doing today, sir? Doing good. Have you got room for an exercise bike and a storage bin? <sighs> Not right now, okay. but I can come back. Okay. Can you come back today or tomorrow? Um, Whichever. Is it, yeah, probably tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah. Tomorrow morning about this time? Or? Uh, yeah, I can come by about this time tomorrow. Well, whatever. So, we've got... Um, I was just looking at the radar, the weather radar. And I can see some pretty good buildups coming in from the 
south and east. Uh, and so it's coming from the ocean. And it's going to be nice, warm, moist air that's coming over our hot land. And it's going to make give us some good rain. And I can hear the thunder just going to town. So I'm going to call this one. Let's see, we're going to call an audible. Truck is pretty full anyway. And what I don't want to do is get to the yard and not be able to unload because of a thunderstorm. Uh, because while they're fine with... They'll keep working in the rain. Um, thunderstorms get a little dicier. You can see that. You can see the clouds building up out there. Um, hopefully you guys can. I'll just hold you up there. So you can see the clouds building up. I'm hoping I got time to get to the yard and get unloaded before the lightning and thunder and rain and stuff really cranks up. I don't mind rain, but working outside in the lightning when you don't have to is just not a good thing. I've had to in the past. I mean, that's just part of being in the military. Uh, but if you don't have to be working out in a lightning storm, it's best that you not. Because that's just tempting fate. Why make yourself an easy target? 